Hello friends and welcome to Miss Debbie's story time. I'm so happy you're here to join me and we are going to be reading a book about a silly girl named Silly Sally. Do you ever like to be silly? Miss Debbie likes to be silly. I know Roxy's silly sometimes. When we're silly, what do we do? Maybe we make a silly face or a silly sound or do a silly dance. Well, I think we're all gonna enjoy this book because it's fun to be silly. And this book is called Silly Sally by Audrey Wood. Silly Sally went to town. Walking backwards, upside down, On the way, she met a pig, a silly pig. They danced a jig. That is silly. Silly Sally went to town dancing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. That is silly. Silly Sally went to town leaping backwards, upside down. I wonder who she's going to meet this time. On the way, she met a loon. A silly loon. They sang a tune. Silly Sally went to town singing backwards, upside down. Silly Sally does a lot of silly stuff. On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Oh no, they fell asleep. Now, how did Sally get to town sleeping backwards? upside down. I wonder how she's going to get to town while she's sleeping. Along came Nettie Buttercup. Nettie Buttercup walking forwards, right side up. Look at the sight he sees. Sally and all the animals upside down sleeping. He tickled the pig who danced a jig. He tip tickled the dog who played leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. And he tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. She tickled Nettie Buttercup. How silly. Everybody's tickling everybody. And that's how Sally got to town. There she is. Walking backwards, upside down. Silly Sally. Now we're going to do a fun craft, making a silly Sally of our own. Okay, so for this craft, Miss Debbie has included a printable that you could print up on your printer. And it's just simply a blank face. If you don't have a printer, you could use a piece of paper and draw your own face. Or Miss Debbie also made a Silly Sally out of a paper plate here. So what we're going to do is find something to either draw a face on or print up the face. Then you're going to draw some eyes and nose and mouth with crayons or markers, paint, paper, anything that you have. And then we're going to make some silly hair because I think Silly Sally has some really cool hair. See her hair all over the place there? And it's kind of silly. So Miss Debbie cut up some pieces of paper and newspaper. And I have some magazine pieces, too, that I've cut up. Just simply out of a magazine. You can cut up any part of that. 
and I cut them into strips like so. I cut them into strips, just had some paper here, and just simply cut them into any size strip you'd like. You could either keep your paper straight or you can bend it. This is called accordion style. Make a little square and then bend it that way and bend it forward and bend it back and just keep going back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that makes a little, a little bouncy piece of hair. Another thing you could do is take the paper and wrap it around your finger just like this Debbie's done here. Roxy's getting down. You want to get by, sweetheart? Go ahead. And once you have it wrapped around your finger, give it a little squeeze. Squeeze it tight. And then slide it off and give it another little squeeze. And then that gives you a little squiggly piece of hair that you can add on. Miss Debbie put a lot of squiggly pieces of hair onto this printable that I have here. So that's our activity. You can either add the hair on with a piece of tape or glue stick or regular glue and have fun with that. Attaching them all around the plate or attaching them all around the face and make it look as silly as you can. Miss Debbie would love for you to send me a picture of your silly Sally so that we can enjoy each other's silly work. So until I see you again, stay happy and healthy, my friends. Bye.